Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon X Nuzlocke Challenge. In today's episode, mostly we are going to be traveling down this lovely route right here, riding on a Rhyhorn. Hey, what's up, bud? Cool. What route are we on? Let's see. Route 9, where uh, in the last episode we caught a Hippopotas, a, uh, the, the new Gaspar, who is chilling in the box at the moment. I have been uh, trying to decide if we should add Gaspar, and I really just don't know if I can justify the chip damage. I still don't think I can. I think I, I feel like we could... Uh, Goyron's spot on the team seems the weakest at the moment in terms of relationships and stuff. Like, obviously, Halt and Axe and Chloeo are, like, our three superpower offensive guys. Um... Axe is like, you know, the more controlled one, the leader. Halt is very steadfast as well. Can do a little more offense and defense. Maybe Axe is a little more offensive. Chloeo, mm, just naturally a little more offensively inclined, as we all know. Still a little bitter about having a uh, Tarth box, although everyone else seems pretty okay with having Tarth box on the team. Uh, Mass and Fatterhorn both doing very well again fast friends. Fatterhorn is wearing a Rocky helmet now, which uh, Matt thinks is funny, so they're just, it's, he's just standing up there. So Fatterhorn, if you can imagine, is a Snorlax wearing a Rocky helmet with, often with Matt's standing on the helmet, and that that's what we're dealing with around camp. Goyrin just, I, I wish I could tell you more about Goyrin. She just stands there in that unblinking, creepy face. Like, there's got to be more. I feel like we just got to get some more battles under her belt, and maybe there's more to see there. I am concerned today specifically about a battle I want to say is at the end of this route. It is a, I think it's a double battle with a Brains and Brawn opponent, and they have a Kadabra and a Machoke. And I'm not sure what we should do about that fight. I think, in my mind, the last time I played this, it was like, it, it is one that like claims lives. It is a Nuzlocke killer. It's stronger than you expect. And I don't know how to handle it because I would want to put like Halt and Fatterhorn out there, but weak to psychic, weak to fighting, maybe Axe, but then we're not really doing any sort of bonus damage. Goyrin possibly could take down the Machoke whilst Chloeo fights the, I don't know, Matt's could throw up some screens for us. Goyrin could throw up a screen as too. Maybe that's the answer. Hmm, maybe we throw out Goyrin, set up the light screen to protect from Kadabra, and then try and Psybeam the Machoke? Uh, that might be a good way to go about it. And in the meantime, who do we have to deal with the Machoke? Maybe if we throw a light screen up, Halt will be okay enough to deal with that uh it's so annoying that might be the plan we'll see we'll see how it goes won't we we're not there yet so we're gonna keep the team as is for the moment hippopotas is gonna chill in the box oh god i wish not have sand streamer it'd be such an obvious in but it does let's see we're moving down the route otherwise i think we're also going to be getting some here we go um we're going to try and get to the fossil today. I think we have to go all the way through Glittering Cave. I'm not sure if that... Oh, there's another Hippopotas. There we go. Mm-hmm. Whipped up a sand stream. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know. The thing is, it's like a permanent one, too. It's not like five turns from now, it'll just die down. That's the other problem. There you go. Super effective. Use Bite. Mm-hmm. It's got good moves, though. There's no doubt. No doubt. Buffeted. I see the buffeting. I don't like that. Because our team will have to deal with it, unless Hippopotas has the entire fight. We are, if we get the fossil though, we could also use the fossil type Pokemon. We'll have to decide which fossil we want, the uh, ice one or the dragon one. I've always been a fan of the, I think it's the jaw fossil, the big T-Rex one. Very fun. Can I just smash these rocks? Yay! Rock smashing! Rock smashing! The other thing we have to be aware of on this particular route is this is where they start having those flyer battles, and that would mean that it's basically just 
mats out there. So I'm going to try and avoid these fights at the moment because I don't like the idea of mats not having any, um, any backup, especially in a fight guaranteed to have a flying type in it, which, is, which he is weak to. So yeah, we're going to try and avoid that. But to that end, if it's not avoidable, we should put mats out in front because we want to get mats to level 20 at least because that is when mats will learn silver wind, which is actually a pretty good bug type attack. Here we go. Gosh, I anytime you go up on these little platforms, that's when it could happen though. I think, don't you know, this one looks pretty safe. Paralyze heal, hooray, yay, we're awesome, super good, awesome, awesome, awesome. Do, 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 and we're going. We haven't run into a whole lot of stuff so far. I'm a little bit surprised. Smash! There's a fight up there. I see a fight. Ooh, it's a... Is that an Ace Trainer fight? That could be... It's a Pokemon Ranger fight. Mm-hmm. Let's see what they got. Let's see. Oh, oh, gosh. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? Oh, boy. No, get off. Stupid, get off the dumb Rhyhorn. Now, am I just going to get off and immediately be in the fight? Hi, let's do it. Hey, our trainer, allow me to restore your Pokemon to full health. That was awesome. Very cool. Okay. Never mind. What do you want? What do you want? Do you want to fight? It's really easy to get lost inside this here cave. Just take one step at a time. Go rushing in all careless like and you'll never find your way out. Okay. That's good advice, I guess. I guess we can just go straight in. I thought there was more to this particular path, but here we go. Glittering cave. Hooray! Do, 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 do. Okay, so this is a new new area, so we can catch something new yet again inside here. What will it be that we catch inside the glittering cave? This is a weird... Oh, oh, here it is. Whatever it is. Oh, man. I Yikes. It's a Lunatone. Interesting. Interesting. Rock Psychic type. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to switch to uh, Halt. Halt's good at catching Pokemon. Puts him to sleep. Oh, no, wait. This is not smart. We're going to have... Psy oh, he's going to hit us with something psychic. This could hurt. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like hypnosis. Oh, we, we had dodged it. Okay, very good. Very good. Let's do the sleep powder thing so that we... Yay, okay. See ya, Lunatone. Bye-bye now. Bye-bye. Okay. Oh, that was just very good. So, Lunatone's an interesting option here. Hmm. We could have... Because we could potentially just switch out for Goyrin right there. What an odd Pokemon Lunatone. Uh, let's go for the Leech Seed here so that we are uh, guaranteed to be picking up some of that health back. Lunatone woke up. Psy wave. Great. Fun. Fun, 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 fun. Oh, see? It did damage. I don't like it. And we're going to take some of that health right on back. Yes, we are. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> Lunatone. How interesting. How interesting. It looks cool. I've never trained a Lunatone before. Not that we've caught it yet, so let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're going to move into Fatterhorn here to just uh, deal we're taking the damage while we're trying to catch it. Ah, yeah, take the leech seed. How we do? The question is, can we hit it with old chip away here without any issue? Maybe we should just go for the lick, so lighter damage. Man, the hypnosis, this Lunatune is not very good with its aim though, I'll tell you what. That hypnosis, it's the third time it's missed. I mean, hypnosis is a terrible attack anyway, but. Here we go, Pokeball, Great Ball, go! Whoosh! Yeah. Doot, doot, doot. Hmm? Hmm? No! Bollocks! Hypnosis, there it is, there it is, mm-hmm. Very good. Okay, this is, now we're in a tricky spot because we don't want it to die, but we have, you know, 
classically given ourselves a, a time limit now. <laughs> Whoops. Here we go. Yep. Yep. Yes. No! Oh my gosh, it's so close. Don't you dare. Don't you dare die on me, Lunatone. You want to be on this team. Don't kill it, Leech Seed. Oh, this is pretty much it. This is pretty much it. We have to catch it right now or we're going to lose it. Oh no. Oh no. What have we done? We shall be hoisted by our own petard. Huh? Two? Join us, Lunatone. No! Oh no! Oh no, we're not going to catch it. Oh, no, 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 no. It's gonna die. Why did we do this? This is a stupid mistake. Ah, bummer. Well, okay. So this is a great example of a thing that can happen in the Nuzlocke where if you knock out the first Pokemon, now we just don't get a Pokemon for the Glittering Cave. That is a bummer, sorry, no Lunatone at all. Um, that was it, that was our chance. We can't catch anything else in here now. Uh, we messed up. We shouldn't have leech seeded. You're probably all screaming. That was a dumb thing. Of course we all wanted Lunatone. Lunatone's our favorite Pokemon ever. Oh, here's something else to fight. Great. Cool, cool, cool. Let's see it. What do you got? Oh, come on! Oh, come on! We could have had Kangaskhan! Oh, we fought a Lunatone? Oh! Everything's the worst. Oh, that man. Uh, every time it's like the second thing we were to do it every round has been so cool. Let's talk about Absol was. It's so okay. There's no use crying over it. This is just the lot we have been dealt in this game. Uh, we're gonna get Matt. We're gonna fight this thing because I want Matt to get this level, and he totally will. Well, we're gonna leech seed you, Kangaskhan. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, that was painful. I did not like that. Uh... Here we go. Sleep powder? Are we faster than you? Yay! Excellent. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Here we go. Fast asleep. And... Leech seed. There we go. The, the fastest way to fight anything, right? Nice and super duper slow. And is dead. Kangaskhan out. Boy, that would have been a real fun addition. We would have put Kangaskhan on. No problem. Halt's level 22. Matt's level 19. Ba boom, ba boom. We rolling. We rolling. Good for us. Okay. Anything else in this cave? What do we got? A hard stone. Oh, that increases the power of rock type moves, I believe. So that's, I don't think we have any rock type moves on the team as of yet, but we could at some point. Oh, here we go. More stuff to fight. Oh, Rhyhorn. Yeah. All right. Well, not like a huge loss either way, but might have been nice. Come on, Max. It's level 20 already. I'm just going to have Axe come out here and water pulse the thing into the next world. Whilst we continue to uh, fight our way through the glittering cave. Water pulse. There we go. I actually get a level out of here. There you go. Boy, he's been practicing that that water pulse, let me tell you. Just be sitting around camp. I mean, he'll be doing his typical meditation there. He'll be it's like, he's often on one leg. He's got like the two. It's like, you know, sort of this position right there. But every now and then, it'll just be like, you just see this ring of water just, whoosh, just go flying. It gets faster and faster. It's like he's really honing in that particular skill. It's very it's very good to see. Oh, gosh, so many Pokemon to fight. Here we go. What is it? Better result. Oh, it's a Cubone! Interesting. Interesting. All right. Can you fight the Cubone? The thing is, Matt's is just not super offensive. I really want Silver Wind. That's going to make me feel so much better about you, uh, Matt's. <laughs> Because we can give him the silver powder too, and that'll like boost that even further. So, oh, Bone Club, yowza! That was a crit. That was a crit. So I'm feeling okay. Water Pulse, go! You got it, Axe. Zoosh. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Only 137. Ugh, not much EXP though. 
Not much experience. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, here we go. Better be a really cool fossil we get at the end of this. Ah, my chop. We've had some uh, we've had some testing my chops in the past. Have we not? They have been. Let's go to hmm. Let's see how Goyrin fares against the Machop. I don't love the idea that we have to switch into probably like Karate Chop or something, but we'll see. This is the kind of fight you'd think you'd want Goy. This shouldn't do very much because I think Low Sweep is based on um, weight, possibly. Psybeam, go Goyrin. There you go. Launch that out. Zoink. Very nice. Another low sweep. Nothing. Nothing. You got this all day, buddy. Freak him out with your eyes. Freak him out with your eyes. There it is. She did. And Goyrin lives in the boy. <gasps> Goyrin's got to get some more experience. Oh. Ooh. Shadow Claw. What the what? Yes, please. Thank you. Well, who can learn this? Who can learn ye old Shadow Claw? No one! Fun. Fun, 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 fun. That's what I say. It's so fun. Everything is great. And Shadow Claw, it would have been good. Did we take a wrong turn? I don't think so. I feel pretty confident about where we're going. Pretty confident indeed. Yeah, look, see? I knew where we were. Oh! Introducing Team Flare. They've got style. Oh, yeah. You want to fight, bro? I don't know if you do. Well, well, what do we have here? Noise a little trainer come poking around. Listen up, we're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble and fear. Team Flare. Oh, is that the name? I'm not trembling. Team Flare's goal is to make it so the world are too happy. We don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers. But like, get out of here, kid. Do you know not to play with fire? I don't know. I have a fire lion on my team. So, I like to play with fire. It's like a thing. Houndor. Boy, Houndor. Interesting. Interesting. Where'd you catch that? All right, Matt's. Let's let this, this might be the fight where Matt's actually does get the level. We're going to switch into Axe here. You got nothing, Hound Doofus. That's what I think. You're about to get Water Pulse right in your stupid face. Use Bite. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whoa. Critical hit. Don't like that either. Definitely going to restore health right now. Don't need any crits on my team leader, you stupid dog. There we go. Howl. I was trying to increase his attack. Mm hmm. It will not matter. We are going to water pulse the thing to death right now. One hit, kill, right? Kaboom. That's what I thought. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. No doubt, Team Flare. You got nothing. Matt's good to level 20. Matt's trying to learn Silverwind. No, isn't he? Am I wrong? What? I have been misinformed. I have been. Very misinformed, and I'm very upset now. What is this? What is this? Well, now I'm not sure what to do. I'm looking that up. I am positive that's what it said. Hold on. Oh, goodness. I've been looking at the wrong generation. It doesn't learn silver went to level 29. Oh, in, the, in Gen 7. That's what it is. Well... We got a long way to go. <laughs> oh boy, okay. All we get between here and there is Baton Pass, which we don't have any moves that helps with. So if we had Silver Wind, then we would, but we don't. Okay, Matt's, that really hurts your case, man. That hurts your case. It's not the worst, but it's not the best either. Let's heal Goyrin. Let's heal Goyrin. That's my phone falling out of my pocket. I have got, let's see, there we go. You do that, and you do that. All right, and we're all good, we're all awake. We're gonna switch Pokemon out here. Gonna go, let's go Goyren up. Well, let's just let 
Let's just let Axe lead, you know? Let's let Axe do his thing and do some real leading. Oh, what? You want to fight too? We're going to take everyone else down so we can do what we want. Okay. What I want is to be the Pokemon champion. You guys, I don't really care what you do. It's fine with me. Oh, see, now we should have led with Goyrin. I mean, Axe can take this guy. Either way, Water Pulse. Go. Ba boom. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Amnesia. Okay. Okay. Interesting. Interesting choice of a uh, move there. But fine. He's probably going to take two more water pulses now. Amnesia, pretty strong early on. If he does it again, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Maybe he'll hit himself. That'd be great. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Hit yourself. Oh, poison gas. How badly I wish he hit himself now. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. How dare you poison the mighty axe? That was a mistake, friend. Now you shall face the water pulse. Yeah, you're dead. That's what I thought. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Get out of here. I'm gonna take this poison damage, though. Do not like poison damage. Electrike. Ugh. Ugh, yeah, I really don't like you. All right, we're gonna switch out in two ways. Well, not in two ways. So we don't have to deal with the poison, and so we don't hit with any electric attacks. Which is the thing that's almost assuredly going to be sending our way. But an electric and a poison type, it seems like um, remarkably good, well-rounded typing for a opposing team grunt, does it not? This is like the second team flare member we've ever fought, and so far they've had a Houndor, an Electric, and a Gulpin. And a Zubat. That's pretty typical. Axe grew to 22! Team player grunt, you dead. Alright, yeah. You got weird hair. It looks like fire. Oh, flare. <gasps> not like the way you're dressed, but also fire. Oh my god, I just got that. It's not true. Antidote. Axe it up. There we go. Continue into this cave. I don't think it's a super long cave by any means. Oh, it's a double fight! What? Bring it on, dude. We're looking for fossils. Oh, uh, wine gums. Are you going to fight with me? Yeah. Let's do it. All right. She has um, an Esper as well, right? I think. Oh, they only have one each. Crow gunk and scraggles. All right. Pretty. Oh, and she's got a psychic type, so we're looking pretty solid here. We're just going to... Uh, yeah, I've definitely got the strongest... We're going to get rid of uh, Scraggles, because we all know just how dangerous that can be. Voosh. Yeah. Light screen? Oh, for us. Pretty nice. Although, it doesn't look like they're going to be using many special attacks, does it? Wine gums. Hmm. Fate attack. Probably a little more dangerous for Esper, because... Psychic type. Those are the words. We didn't take zero damage there. Um, let's go though. I still think. Hmm. See, the psychic type attacks won't hurt Scraggy that much. We're gonna have to go for it. Boom! Get it? Ah, so close, Psybeam. And she's gonna hit that onto Krogonk and it's gonna kill it, right? Yes, it is, very good. So now I'm feeling pretty good unless this thing lands a crit on somebody. Brick break, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh my gosh, oh. Okay, that was, that was dangerous. Uh, I don't, he couldn't have any priority moves though or anything, so we're just gonna water pulse it. Woo, woo, axe. Man, that was a calculated risk. I'm my, oh. Very nerve wracking. Very nerve wracking indeed. All right, look, yeah, we won. We're the best there ever was. Boy, oh boy, we are gonna super potion right now. Where you at? Use. Very good. Very good. Okay. Boy, having a water type when the opposing team is all fire themed seems like a really good thing to have. 
Okay, this guy looks like he's the fossil dude. Will we have to fight someone else though? Do 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 do. I think we're good. Did you find him? I did find him. Did so find his. Why well, hello, a little here to look for fossils as well. Are, are you okay? Did Team Flare come here? Team Flare? What's that? A Pokemon? <laughs> he was so absorbed. Oh. Jaw fossil or the sail fossil? Ooh. Okay, I realize I have to make this decision right now. Um, I, let's, oh man. Interesting. You know what? Let's just flip a coin. That seems like the fair way to do it. That seems like the way to do it. I've got here, oh, look at this is a fun coin. This is a death wish coin. That's going to be heads. This will be jaw. This will be a uh, sale. Ready? Here's what we're going to do. Sale. It is. There you go. That works out. I not, haven't done sale before. So there it was. The sale fossil. It shines with all the colors of the rainbow. Yes, we got it. Obtained a sale fossil. There you go. We just gave him wine gums, a giant T-Rex though. So there is that to consider as well. Are we just gonna head all the way back? Oh no, that'd have been nice if they just transported you back. But they didn't. Oh well. Okay, you guys, well, I think that is a good natural stopping point for this episode. We have met Team Flare. We failed to catch a new team member. Uh, uh, but I think we did get Amora. So the question is, should we put the Amoris on the team? Or I think that's what it's called. Should we put our new fossil Pokemon on the team? And if so, who should we replace? Who should we replace? Hmm. Options. Options indeed. Uh, Silverwind being level 29 is so annoying. I'm so frustrated by that. I really thought I was at 20 and I've been misled. Anyway, that's not important right now. Thank you guys so much for watching and leaving a like on this video and subscribing to the channel. And uh, don't forget to leave a comment down below so that in the event that I do catch another Pokemon, you might get it named after you. How fun would that be? Uh, but until next time, bye!